guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about Tough Toe today. Uh, Tough Toe has been around for over 30 years. We're the premier shoe repair and protection product on the market. We've been doing this for Major League Baseball pitchers since the 70s. Uh, our larger market is um, for work boots, and we're expanding in all kinds of markets, uh, skate shoes, that sort of thing. Tough Toe triples the life of your shoe. It's a liquid polyurethane adhesive. There's two sides, side A and B. They mix together, and you apply it to your shoe and uh, it, it really helps protect your shoe. It's the best thing going. Uh, our premier product, our most expensive one, is it comes in a cartridge and you get a mixer tip and you can get the gun and it, it, you know, it's, it's kind of like an epoxy style system. Um, but today I wanted to introduce you guys to our most economical version, maybe great for first time users just to check it out because it's uh, a lot less expensive than the full uh, kit. So what this is, is it's, a, it's a called a burst bag or a bipack. There's the uh, side A and side B, and we're going to mix these two together. We're going to clip off the uh, corner, and we're just going to apply it to our shoe. So let me show you how, uh, how simple and easy that is. We're going to do this on a skate shoe today, and uh, we're going to cover the ollie spot and, and some of the front of the shoe as well. So you can see that I have it all taped off here. I have sanded the... Uh, rubber sole edge. You don't need to sand any canvas or anything like that. You would need to sand leather though, leather and rubber, but anything that's canvas or porous, you don't need to sand at all. So I've got this taped off. What's really important as well is that we want to stuff this shoe as tight as we can with paper. Don't be afraid to stick a bunch of paper in there. We want to make it seem as though our foot is in it so that we can't feel the tough toe once it's cured. So just get some junk mail, advertisements, newspaper, what have you. One more. All right, so that's nice and stiff. All right, so this is super simple. We've got side A and side B in this bag. There is a burst seal right here. We're just going to force one side into the other. We're going to knead the bag, and then we're going to cut the corner and put it on. First, so we don't destroy mom's table, kitchen table, I'm going to make our little work area here, put some newspaper down, and make sure you've got some paper towels just in case. Shouldn't be an issue. So we're going to put force side A into side B. All you do is start it going, roll it up kind of like a toothpaste tube, and pop that seal. There we go. Now we know that uh, all we need to do is floss this back and forth over a table edge for about a minute, or about, you know, it's, it's equal to about 60 times as you go back and forth. You want to make sure that you're getting all the way up to the corners here so that nothing, so it all mixes together nice and good. Sometimes about halfway through, I like to go back and forth, make sure that everything's getting mixed together. I think that's been just about a minute. You, you really want to get as close to a minute as you can. If you go a little over, that's okay, but just don't go short of that. I can feel it's building some heat, so that means the chemical reaction is starting to go down. Now we're going to push it all into one side. And again, roll it up like a toothpaste tube. And we're going to snip the corner off. You want to snip just a little bit of the corner off. You can always snip more, but you don't want to get too much of it going. So I cut the cut, corner cut off, and I'm going to start on one side. I'm just going to 
kind of go back and forth here. When I get about halfway through, I'm going to pick up my popsicle stick. And I like to use round circular motions to get it where I want it. And I can see it's already starting to set up. Pick it back up, finish it off. All right, that's about all we have. All right, so I got it everywhere I need it, and then I want to get this tape off right away. So we're just going to make sure we take it off. Finish any smoothing if we need to. And then we just want to rotate the shoe for about a minute. And then we can set it down. But that bag was enough to do this large area. Some people just like the front area done. Uh, vert skaters, when they bail down the, uh, the face of the bowl, they just drag that. Some people just need an ollie spot. Um, so that's one shoe. You'd get another bag if you needed uh, to do your other shoe. Um, if it would be enough, one bag would be enough for uh, ollie spots on a pair. But we use the whole bag on this area. All right, so this is the shoe that we had done earlier. And as you can see, it's going to cure with this uh, kind of a high gloss, shiny finish. But if you don't like that, you just wait about 20 to 30 minutes. And you take your finger and you just rub the shine right off and it will cure with a matte finish. When you hear that squeaking, that's, that's perfect. That's the perfect time to go ahead and wipe it down. There you go. Simple as that. Now it'll cure and it'll be flat like that. So you guys can uh, get different colors. We have it in black, royal, navy, pink, red, gray, tan, and brown. So we got a lot of different, uh, different colors for you. And you can get crazy and do stuff like that, but this is where you really need that gun. But as far as just first time out, this is gonna be the way to go, economical. Uh, you can buy one bag up to 10 bags. And the more bags you buy, the cheaper it is per bag. So check it out.